Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to speed up your windows load time after you log in and some factors that also affect your BIOS load time. To start off we're going to go to the task manager which you can pick up by pressing ctrl alt delete. On the top right corner you're going to see the last BIOS load time. You can improve this by reducing the programs you load on startup and also by upgrading your BIOS to the latest version whether it be the old BIOS infrastructure or the UEFI with secure boot. You can obtain the drivers by going to your manufacturer's website and going into the support and drivers and all you have to do is enter your computer's model number. If you do not know your BIOS number uh, version number you can go to the start menu and then go to windows administrative tools scroll down and click system information this task manager for managing starter programs is uh, a light but not very detailed to be honest but it does mention how much activity there is on your disk and your CPU for processing the program on startup. You can enable these two by right clicking and tick marking the type. Anyhow, um, you can you'll have to use your judgment for deciding which programs you want once you log in into Windows. Technically, you can open these programs later words too, but you only need one to enable the programs that have immense importance. I'm going to go over a few so you guys get the idea I'm trying to convey. One issue, this is a video converter, so I can always open this later words whenever I need to convert something. So this is just going to be adding load to my startup after I log in. Synaptics, Nvidia, and HP Sense. These are essential programs that I would require from the startup. As Synaptics will be managing the multi-touch capabilities such as double finger scrolling, NVIDIA would be managing my graphics driver and HP CoolSense is respons responsible for cooling the processor when it gets uh, overheated and this is my audio manager driver iTunes software, I can always open iTunes later words when I need it also along with Chrome if you want your internet browsing experience to be fast I would recommend you have this enabled, but I have too many extensions and plugins so it does slow down the startup. And I don't need web browsing instantly, I log in. So whenever I launch a Google Chrome later words, it will be uh, open throughout the activity of the PC as it loads up down here. And Internet Download Manager, I would also recommend you have this enabled because if you don't, the download manager won't start and when you download files, it won't uh, download through this. So you should have this on. I manually open it afterwards. So I hope you guys got the idea of this. I'm going to show you a more detailed version of managing startup. Uh, in case if you don't see this in Windows XP, this is the case because uh, the management system was different over there. So um, all you have to do in Windows XP is hold down the Windows logo key and R, and all, then you write MS config. There will be a startup over there, um, and this is the place which will manage the startup programs of Windows XP.
and you can also manage the type of startup over here too. Anyhow, the detailed version of going through the startup programs is this amazing program called CC Cleaner. I shall get, provide the download link in the description. It's amazing for cleaning up for disk space and cleaning up registry files and unused extensions. It really speeds up the computer and tunes it up. Anyhow, for st startup management, you go to Tools and then Startup. And over here, you have a more detailed um, script of all the programs. Although it doesn't have icons, so you can always refer back to the task manager to compare. So in this Windows tab, this is going to be the same thing almost for uh, the startup programs. But what's special in this program is you can also manage individual programs and also schedule tasks for the startup, such as Internet Explorer. This will start up my Internet Download Manager. So I would always want to have that on. In Google Chrome, you can manage some, but some you may not as they may be protected. And you'll end up uh, getting an uh, error like this. So you'll have to manage these extensions through Google Chrome itself in the settings and extension by unchecking enable but I don't think that really does the trick you technically have to delete them if you're not really using them at all in schedule tasks this will manage um, scheduled uh, updates for your programs such as for Google Chrome this one's an update for checking if there is a new version and context menus are this is for additional options when you right click over it these are the extra options which is the context menu so through this you can manage your starter programs and hopefully you will have a much faster starter and most importantly if your computer is infected by a virus and you do not recognize any uh, program with a weird family, it is probably best to Google search it as that will help you obtain sufficient information if the program is uh, safe or harmful. And so you can take uh, precautions later words to disinfect and quarantine the problem. Uh, most importantly, um, most viruses have a startup as in order for the viruses to function and malware to function, they have to be started up as soon as you log into Windows. So most of the uh, viruses should pop up over here and you might be able to distinguish them from word activity and you can obtain more information by right clicking and clicking property so then you can check the digital signatures and etc of the program but some viruses are in stealth mode so you technically will have to depend on an antivirus to do its job anyhow guys i hope this was helpful thank you for watching Please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.